Hello friends, Mark Spade here. As always, hope this video finds you well. I hope that you are enjoying a warm pipe, a favorite blend, and a comfy chair. I myself am smoking again under this Ron Powell Bent Rhodesian. And in it, Eileen's Dream. Uh, today is a good day for an aromatic smoke. Uh, today is match day, so I'll be <clears throat> coaching my little team and uh, don't want to be smelling like Virginia's and English blends. Today's video is about the pipe and tobacco register. Some of y'all were just as excited as I was about it. And I really think that it's a fantastic resource. It's gonna change the way that I track my, my pipe smoking journey. And I think that it's going to be beneficial for your journaling as well. So without further ado, beautiful leather bound hardcover register. And you can tell that there was great care in the aesthetic of this book. So it's copyrighted in 1998. And uh, we have a, the book is, is annotated throughout with little notes from the author as well as, uh, uh, as well as quotes about pipe smoking, which I find to be absolutely wonderful. So here we have, uh, this book was inspired by a friendship, a friendship where stories are shared, pipes are smoked, and an old pastime is introduced in a new light. Dedicated to my father-in-law, who introduced me to pipe smoking and who has become my smoking companion. I look forward to many years of the two of us packing pipes together. So here we have, uh, this register belongs to, you can do your name there. And then a little bit of an explanation for what this book is, as well as a another quote. And I might share these quotes in time. How to use the register. And what I like about this is that there is great care taken to define terminology, which I think is perfect. It, it makes communication easy. And I'm actually going to adopt this vocabulary as it pertains to pipe smoking myself. I just feel that it's so uh, concise and accurate. It's wonderful ways of, of describing tobaccos and uh, clearly clearly communicates really what it what you need to review a, a blend. So I think it's perfect. Uh, there is a rating system that's uh, I guess sampled here, not necessarily recommended. But I'm able to put my own rating system down here. And I love that. Uh, just the fact that it was obvious to the author that not everybody rates tobaccos in the same fashion. And so having the ability to explain your own is wonderful. As well as the asterisk here is for the combination. So it's the combination of the pipe and the tobacco that you rate together, which I think is a great idea. So I will do that as well. Uh, moving forward. Here we have, I hope you will find this register helpful in the pursuit of mastering your pipe smoking adventures. The descriptions outlined above were not meant to be comprehensive or in-depth. They were written to guide you through the use of the catalog pages. I strongly recommend you spend time with your local tobacconist to learn the finer points of pipes and tobaccos. Additional sources of information are Pipes and Tobacco's magazine, as well as various pipe books for sale, all available through your local tobacconist. Thank you for expanding your pipe collection to include this register as your cataloging guide. And so here we have the book. Um, good luck enjoying the great smoke. Anthony Dana Busso, author and publisher. The register. So page after page is dedicated to the register and I'll share a bit of this with you so each box is the same it's identical for I would say at least 70 pages and so let's let's walk through it. You have the pipe used, uh, the make, stem shape, the bowl style, and the 
both sides. Then we have the tobacco, the flavor or blend name and the manufacturer, the type of blend, Virginia, Burley, Cavendish, Oriental, Turkish, Latakia, the packaging, bulk, or tin, tobacco moisture, dry, semi-moist, or moist, the cut style, ready rubbed, flake, ribbon, rough cut, cube cut, pressed flake, and then blend comments, as in the uh, description from the manufacturer. Then the tobacconist where you got this from, if applicable, and the price in the ounces purchased, uh, and then the date that you purchased it. Now here we have smoke quality, aroma, mild, medium, full-bodied, sweet, woodsy, pungent, rich, nutty, or other. And what's interesting is that in the annotations uh, in the beginning, it actually talks about how aroma is best judged by someone else, and I agree with that. Uh, I tend to comment on room note without really considering the fact that uh, I'm a, going to be a bit biased because I'm the one smoking. And I do like to ask the missus or the kids what they think about, about a, a room note from time to time. And I, I think they give me pretty good feedback. The tobacco taste, smooth, hard, cool, dry, tangy, sweet, or other. And then notes and comments. Here we have the consistency of burns, which is good. And ash color, white, neutral gray, or dark. Then time smoked and the date. And then here we have the personal rating of the pipe, the tobacco, and the combination. I feel that really sums it up and gives you a good base for reviewing any given tobacco. Now further on in the book, Again, after page, after page, after page. We finally arrive here. Pipe and Tobacco Catalog. Because your taste changes, the changes are good, you will be using a different pipe 10 years from now. For this reason, multiple catalog pages have been provided for you to organize as old pipes are replaced by new ones and your preferences change. List your pipes below. Under the tobacco heading, list those tobacco that smoke well with each pipe. So we have the year, the catalog, the pipe, and the tobaccos. And this goes on for several pages until we get the pipe reference. As you purchase new pipes, list them below to keep track of your good buys, as well as to remember how much you paid for a pipe if you choose to sell. So we have the pipe make and style, the price, new or used, date purchased, and purchased from. And then finally, we have a few pages just for notes. And I think for me, this will just be some of my reflections and contemplations as they particularly pertain to pipe smoking. And that, my friends, is the end of the register. I hope that you saw as I did, the not only the organization, but also just the defined terms used throughout this book uh, that, that are really wonderful. You know, a great way to describe tobacco, a great way to kind of standardize your approach and is laid out in a way that's very digestible to anybody looking at it. And so if a pipe smoking friend was to open up the journal, you really get a good idea of what my thoughts are on each blend and each pipe log as well as their combinations um, and then hopefully generations to come uh, if there are more pipe smokers in my line they can use this as well at least just to look back on and say hey this is what you know mark thought of these things right so i hope that you found this video useful Hope that you enjoyed it. With that, 
I'm Mark Spade. Thanks for watching.